Hello Dragon Age fans and welcome to the channel. In the last episode we went to the Harrowing Ritual and escaped the Fade. This time I will be using my camera and I'll continue the exploration of the Circle Tower. If you enjoyed this series please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And now let's get to it. Did you hear anything? Is he alright? Is he awake? Why do you care? Are you best friends now? I'm just curious. That Templar Cullen said it was the quickest, cleanest harrowing he'd ever seen. He must be so talented. Someone sounds jealous. I just know I'll be terrified when my time comes. Like Wendell was. He'd throw up every day for the next week just thinking about it. I am very talented, that's true. Alright. Let's see what we can find around here. You must control the fire with your will. Keep the flame steady. We don't want it sputtering and leaping about. That's what causes most of the injuries. Injuries? But, but... But... Steady. It reacts to your emotions. If you panic, it will... No, no, no. Breathe. Oh. Damn. You know, in my experience, Flint and Tinder works just as well. Maybe we should start with that. Magic Very well. Serve man Codex, the fade. Very good. And what do you think that means? Can anyone tell me? Hey! Audio. No, that's not what it means. It means that magic should be used to help people. But we can't use our magic to... to force people to do what we want. That's right. We should not abuse the gift the Maker has given us. Okay. We will see about that. If I had put all my power behind that spell, you would have been obliterated. I am not your enemy. Fear is your enemy. It is a weakness that can be exploited. Should you face a demon with your will wavering so, it would consume. No? Resist whatever I throw at you. Again. Dead. I swear it's like the walls have eyes. Hey, did you hear about that apprentice they're going to send for? Shh. What about it? Yes, is there something you need? That's a big door. Yes, it is. Do you need something or are you just here to state the obvious? Can you open the door? <laughs> the night commander would have my head if I did that. Besides, I hear it takes no less than four grown men to open this door. That's a lot of men. Uh, is this the only way out of the tower? The only safe one, as far as I know. There are windows on the higher levels, but surely you don't need me to warn you of the dangers of leaping from them. It never ends well. What's out there? For Elden, it's not very interesting. Mostly farms, the occasional river. Can I leave the tower? No, you may not. I'm surprised you ask. I would have thought you'd be used to this idea by now. Why can't I leave? Only mages on official circle business are allowed to leave the tower, and the first enchanter has not informed us of any mages leaving the tower today. I should get going. Make a smile fortune on you. Tranquil. Owain. Welcome to the circle stockroom of magical items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? What is the stockroom for? The stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? Are you really a tranquil mage? I voluntarily submitted to the rite of tranquility. I was unwilling to undergo the harrowing. I find this state agreeable. Do you, don't you think uh, what they did to you is uh, cruel? Tranquility has its merits. I see the world with clarity. I remember the days when my mind was filled with inconvenient and seething emotions. Now things are simple. And now you are no longer a person. My body is similar in form to yours, possessing an equal number of limbs, appendages and internal organs. I perform the same physical functions. I am a robot. My mind is capable of higher thought processes. Am I to be denied personhood because I do not feel as you do? Hmm. I mean, 
some people don't have emotions, so this statement isn't really correct. But uh, yeah, a person is more than just physical parts. I have thoughts and memories. I remember my past, my childhood in the tower, and my apprenticeship. These experiences defined me. My lack of emotion simply adds to what is already there. <laughs> Silence, you're confusing me now. Uh, are emotions es essential? Maybe not. Hmm. My statement was rude. I apologize. I do not have the capacity to be offended. Still, I believe I am a person. What was becoming tranquil like? It is difficult to describe. I would perhaps compare it to being plunged into a pool of ice cold water. What happened during the Rite of Tranquility? I was ordered to never speak of it. I cannot go against the Circle's wishes. Okay. Very well. Goodbye. You need something. If not, step back. You're in my light. Sorry, my dude. Your light? I'm trying to study. Have some consideration for a fellow mage. Hey, you're right, I'm sorry. Hmm. I don't take orders from elves. Very well, I will leave you alone. Good day. I have no reason to be rude, I'm, I'm the one uh, approaching him for no reason. I like that Codex uh, rewards you with experience, like you're getting a, re a reward for exploring and getting more knowledge. Hello, were you looking for something? What were you talking to that other mage about? Oh, the fraternities. Groups of mages with a common agenda. <sighs> I think we should all be isolationists. Stay in some remote mountain town far away from the mundanes who hate us. If we run away, they'll never learn not to fear us. They'll never learn that. They don't want to. I'd go hide alone in the wilds if I could. But you know they just brand me an apostate and hunt me down. There is no leaving the circle. It's till death do us part. Romantic, isn't it? Apostate? If you leave the circle, you become an apostate. And the punishment for leaving is death. Pretty grim, huh? There must be mages who aren't part of the circle. I've heard of hedge witches who've managed to survive on their own, eluding the circle for a lifetime. But if the Templars discover them, well, you know what happens. Then there are stories about the Dalish elf clans having great magic. But who knows what's truth and what's fiction when it comes to the Dalish. Who are you? I'm Njal, a mage just like you. I've seen you around, haven't I? I must have. Colin! Greetings. Oh my god. I'm glad your harrowing went well. He's so young looking here. It's been a while. Who are you? I am Colin. I was to strike the killing blow if you had uh, become an abomination. I am glad you didn't. How would you have known if I had become one? Honestly, I've never seen an abomination or been called on to slay one. Oh, you could have made a mistake. Gregor would have guided me. Something must happen. But what if it's not obvious? Could abominations be walking among us right now? Hmm. I'm sure there are no abominations here. This is still new to me. Maybe one day I'll be as dedicated and driven as Knight Commander Gregor. He is a very dedicated man, yes. You must be busy. Perhaps we can talk another time. We just met Colin. He's gonna hang uh, with us for a long while in this series. Hailey. Blessed art thou who exists in the sight of the Maker. Hey, sire. Blessed are the penitents who seek his return. Blessed is the prophetess, purified by flame. May the chant reach the Maker's ears and tell him of our contrition. So let it be. 
Oh, I didn't see you there. I recite the Maker's blessings every day. It brings me peace in troubled times. Are you in trouble? No, no, not really. It's just... I, I don't want to bore you with this. I'm sure it isn't boring. It gives me hope that one day the Maker will hear us. That maybe I'll be forgiven and my curse will be lifted. Curse? Hmm. Magic? What else? Magic isn't a curse. Magic causes such misery. It's dangerous and vile and wicked. The Chantry must protect the world from us. Being born with something so terrible must be a punishment. I wish I could be rid of it. You could use your abilities to help, even. That doesn't take magic. If I could, I would dedicate my life to the Chantry. But they would never take me in. Perhaps this is just something I will have to suffer through. I should go. My mentor only allows a few minutes each day for religious contemplation. It doesn't take magic to help people, but if you have it, it's surely a boost. Alright, here we go. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Wynne, Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Ooh, Duncan. You sent for me? Ah, if it isn't our new brother in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is he. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, where was I? Oh, yes, this is Duncan of the Grey Wardens. A Grey Warden in the tower? Grey Wardens go wherever duty sends them. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the king's army at Ostagar. Who are we fighting? The Darkspawn threat grows in the south. We need all the help we can get. What do you mean? The power you mages wield is an asset to any army. Your spells are very effective against large groups of mindless Darkspawn. I fear if we don't drive them back, we may see another blight. Duncan, you worry the poor lad with talk of blights and dark spawn. This is a happy day for him. We live in troubled times, my friend. We should seize moments of levity, especially in troubled times. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of magi. Let's go. My phylactery? You may not remember, but blood was taken from you when you first came to us. This blood is preserved within a phylactery. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them proudly, for you have earned them. Thank you. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the right. Now then, take your time to rest or study in the library. The day is yours. Can I leave the tower? Not yet. Remember, the tower's walls protect us as much as they protect others from us. I will return to my quarters. 
Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child? It will be my pleasure. The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Okay. Are you following me? Thank you for walking with me. I'm glad for the company. I wanted to talk to you a little more. Yes? What about? Have there been many dark spawn attacks? A horde has formed within the Korkari wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an arch demon is leading the horde. That sounds ominous. Darkspawn do attack the surface in ragtag bands, but arch demons are capable of rallying the Darkspawn, turning them into an unstoppable force. A horde of Darkspawn, a veritable army. It is dire news indeed. I fear this is what we will have to face. And the king is mastering an army to beat back this uh, threat? Yes, perhaps it will be enough if we play our cards right. Why were Irving and Gregoire arguing about the war? It is not my place to comment. Persuade. Ooh, please, I'd like, I'd like to know. Gregor serves the Chantry, and the relationship between the Chantry and mages has always been strained. You've realized by now that the Chantry merely tolerates magic? They watch only because they feel they must. Yes, but they were arguing about the war. Any mages who join the King's army can unleash their full power on the Darkspawn. In fact, I'm counting on it. Gregor may be afraid of what will happen. What if the mages decide they no longer want to be governed by the Chantry? What are your opinions on the matter? I believe we must defeat the Darkspawn, one way or another. My opinions end there. Okay, let's go. Yes, let's. Thank you for escorting me. Damn, he's got a nice room. Is there something else I can do for you? Have you ever seen someone use blood magic? Once, in my youth, just after I joined the Grey Wardens. I was traveling with my mentor. We encountered a group of Templars hunting a blood mage. They were quite far away, so I cannot be sure of what I saw. He forced some of the Templars to turn on their fellows. It was dreadful to behold. He would have escaped had he not overlooked one Templar who snuck up behind him and cleaved his head in two. Blood magic is evil. I mean, it's a tool, but uh, inherently it's usually evil. There have been mages within the Grey Wardens who have needed to resort to blood magic to deal with the dark yeah. spawn. It is something to consider, certainly. Hmm. How many mages have joined the King's army? When the King sent out the call, the Circle of Ferelden sent only seven mages to Ostagar. I asked King Caelan's permission to come and seek a greater commitment from the Circle. Seven is quite few, a few. I hope to place a mage or two within every contingent. I cannot do with just seven. Mages will make all the difference in this battle. The Darkspawn have their own magic, and our resources must exceed theirs. Do you think I could join the army? I don't know. Do you? I think I could help. Then perhaps I shall speak to Irving about this later. Darkspawn are a greater threat than blood mages, even abominations. It takes decades for the world to recover from a blight. I wish the Chantry could see that. We must stop at nothing to defeat the Darkspawn. <laughs> ah, listen to me. An old man's rantings can't be very interesting. I learned much from what you said. <laughs> you are too kind. Can you tell me more about uh, Grey Wardens and uh, Darkspawn? Certainly. I am intimately familiar with these subjects after all. What do Grey Wardens do? Our duty is to battle Darkspawn wherever they appear. We are elves, humans, and dwarves united by this common purpose. 
Have there been uh, many darkspawn attacks? A horde has formed within the Korkari wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an arch demon is leading the horde. All right. Ooh, your one. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? Hmm, I think I am for now. I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? Why are you whispering? It looks very suspicious. Shh, I just want to make sure we're not overheard. We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. You seem a little on edge. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. Okay, let's see. We should be safe here. In the chapel, the Templar's favorite haunt? We can see the door from here. If anyone comes, we'll change the subject. Wait, I've seen you before. I often attend to my duties in this chapel. Perhaps that is why I seem familiar. A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. This is Lily. What's up with her face? This fat cow is your lover. My condo. <laughs> My condolences, Lily. Very funny. I'm truly happy for you both. There is something else. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. All gone. That sounds terrible. They'll extinguish my humanity. I'll just be a husk. Breathing and existing, but not truly living. Why would they do this to you? There's a rumor about me. People think I'm a blood mage. They think that making me a circle mage will endanger everyone. Are they right about that? Of course not. But it's not safe here for me anymore. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. I need to think this over. I suppose that's fair. But please, give us your answer soon. Time is running out. Let's go have a chat with the others. I trust you saw Duncan back to his quarters? Of course, uh, First Enchanter. I'm glad you met him. He's a most honorable man. I agree. It was my privilege to have met him. Grey Wardens are peerless warriors who sacrifice all for our sakes. We can learn much from them. Now, did you need something? When is your one uh, going through the harrowing? When he is ready. Your one fears uh, he is going to be made tranquil. And how does he know this? I suppose the young initiate he dallies about with revealed it to him. You think I didn't know? I did not become first enchanter by keeping my eyes and ears shut. Why are you doing this, Yohan? Gregor says he has proof and eyewitness testimony that Jowan has been practicing Jowan. blood magic. Okay. I cannot say more. Were it left to me, things might be different. But the Chantry, I'm sorry, child. This rite of tranquility will happen. Then you must know that uh, Joan plans to escape the circle. Oh, interesting. What more do you know? I am sorry, Joan, but... Uh... I only know he plans to destroy his phylactery. And I suppose his lady friend is involved? Yes, she must be helping him. She would know more about the repository than he would. 
Do you know anything else? I think I'm doing this for his sake, if anything. No, I came directly to you. I suspected Lily would tell him of the impending right if she found out. But I never expected they would have the gall to break into the repository. What we could do with you, uh, Joan? Reporting him to Gregor and the Templars will accomplish nothing beyond what's already planned. If the Circle must punish one of its own, I will see the Chantry done the same courtesy. Lily will not walk free while my apprentice suffers. Lily is just trying to save the man she loves, though. That's true. She is also breaking every vow she ever took. Will you report Lily's betrayal to Gregoire? If we mention her involvement, the Chantry will say that she was framed. No, she must be caught in the act. You are using Lily to get back at the Chantry? If you want to survive, you must learn the rules and realize that sometimes sacrifices are necessary. Jowen will become tranquil, but Lily must also face the consequences of her actions. How did you learn of their plan? Do they trust you? Jowen told me their intentions, but I don't know the plan. Then do this. Learn the plan and offer to help carry out their scheme. With solid proof of their crime, we can act. I am not comfortable deceiving them. You felt comfortable enough to bring this to me. Do not shy from your duty now. I will do as you ask. Go. Convince them you will risk all for their cause. I will be outside the repository with a contingent of Templars. Let them see the mischief into which their initiate led our student. Perform well, and your dedication will be rewarded. This is not about snitching. This is about uh, actually... Saving them from uh, doing a, a terrible mistake. Yes? Who are you? Senior Enchanter, Leora, in charge of the Circle's laboratory. Is there something you want? What's that door over there? That leads to the Circle's cavern storerooms. There are caves running through the rock that the Circle is built upon. But of course, you know this. Can I look inside the cavern? Uh, no, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. Why? <sighs> there are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. Keep safe? Aren't the circle stars meant to be used? Yes, but I... I am in the midst of stock taking, checking inventory, and I, I can't let anyone in there in case they m mess things up. Yes. Suspicious. So why are you out here and not in there? Because I am taking a break. I hate the musty smell of caves, and I, uh... Ugh. Look, I'll tell you the truth, just keep it to yourself. There is an infestation of spiders in the caves. I don't know how they got in there, but it's probably my fault. I was promoted to senior enchanter less than a fortnight ago, and I don't want anyone to find out. They'll think I'm incompetent. Hmm. Do you need any help? I could use some, I'm sure. I've been too busy with my new duties. I haven't been able to deal with the spiders. If you cleared them out for me, I would owe you a favor. A big one. All right, I'll do it. Wonderful. Here is the key. Oh, and be careful in there. I'd really like to keep the damage done to the Circle's property to a minimum. All right. Let's kill some spiders. Oh. Come on! Okay. 
They are dangerous. Especially in a group. That's not nice at all. Damn you. Being uh, entangled stops my. Oh no, never mind. Damn. Ooh! My HP. I almost died uh, to a spider. It is begun. I shall do it. Come on. I shall do it. If we must fight, then I'll do it quickly. Ouch. This might be the end for me. As you say. Damn. Nightmare is tough. Then again, my, I'm a lonely mage for now. You have killed all the spiders. Yes. You're back. Are the spiders gone? I have dealt with your infestation. Really? Oh, that's wonderful. You've saved my hide, I'm sure. And I owe you a favor, so if you need anything, I'll be here. Keeping the creepy... Creep, keeping the creepy crawlies away? Exactly. I'll be here, keeping the crawlies away. Okay. No reward. Thank you. Are you going to help us? Circumstances are uh, different now. Ready to help. Thank you. We will never forget this. So what do you intend to do? I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? Are you suggesting we break through it? I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stockroom. But Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. I will go to the stockroom and retrieve this rod. We should stay here. One mage at the stockroom will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. So I have to do all the dirty work. I'd go with you, but it would look suspicious. Good luck. Our prayers go with you. What's up with her face? My name is Owain. How may I assist you? I need a rod of fire. Rods of fire serve many purposes. Why do you wish to acquire this particular item? I need the, the rod for my research into burning things. Here is the form, request for rod of fire. Have it signed and dated by a senior enchanter. I will release a rod to you once I have the signed form. I will be back shortly. Thank you. You are back. Has something gone wrong with the plan? I need this form signed. A rod of fire? Why do you... Uh, I understand. Trying to break through the door this way. Interesting. The sooner you sign the form, the sooner I can be done. The phylactery chamber door is warded and resists all magic worked upon it. Can you give me your key? Even if I did, Gregor always keeps his on his person. Hmm. Not easy breaking into a locked chamber, is it? Still, ah, 
yes. The phylactery chamber shares a wall with the artifact vault. Age and dampness seeping up from the ground have weakened a segment of it. You can break down this part of the wall to gain entrance into the chamber. Is there no other way? None that I can think of. However, breaking down this wall should not be difficult. We have an old Tevinter device in the vault. It may have been used for defense or possibly entertainment. It amplifies spells. Use the rod on this artifact and aim it at the wall. Won't someone hear that? The repository is deep within the tower. It's unlikely anyone will hear anything except a muffled rumbling. Besides, odd noises are quite commonplace here. The reason I went like this was because if you know you have that wall breaking down, why don't you fix it? Irving. Fix your tower. I shall do this. One more thing. Do not be quick to suggest there is another way in. I don't want Lily and Chowan to suspect. Of course. Make it seem like you came up with the idea yourself. Here is the form with my stamp. Owain will release the rod to you now. Here's the signed form for the Rod of Fire. Everything looks to be in order. Here is the rod you requested. Okay, cool. I hate waiting. It makes me nervous. I have the rod of fire. That was quick. To the repository then. Freedom of weights. Chantry calls this entrance the victim's door. It is built of 277 planks, one for each original Templar. It is a reminder of all the dangers those cursed with magic pose. But how do we get past it? The doors can be opened only by a Templar and a mage entering together. The Chantry provides the password which primes the ward and the mage touches it with mana to release it. I trust you have the password? Yes, I got it from a Templar who recently accompanied a mage into the vault. And he wasn't suspicious of you? We have chatted on many occasions. I believe he trusts me. So what must I do? First the password. Sword of the Maker, Tears of the Fade. What was that? The password only primes the door. Now it must feel the touch of mana. Any spell will do, but hurry. Do you have the rod with you? Melt the locks off. What's the matter? Why isn't it working? I don't know. Lily, something's not right. I can't cast spells here. Nothing works. These wards carved into the stone. This must be the Templar's work. They negate any magic cast within this area. I should have guessed. Why would Gregor and Irving use simple keys for such a door? Because magical keys don't work. How do you keep mages away from something? Make their powers completely worthless. That's it then. We're finished. We can't get in. That door there, where does it lead? I don't know. Do you think it's another way in? That door probably leads to another part of the repository. What are the chances of there being another entrance? Or we could just forget this foolishness and leave? No. We can't get into the chamber the way we planned. But we're not about to give up. 
We can see where this door leads, but I don't think it'll be easy. It looks locked for one. Onward then. Let's hurry. We've wasted enough time. I'm not giving up. We've come too far. Oh, that's not good. Oi. I suspected this would happen. Luckily, I'm ready. I'm more dangerous than I look. It is begun. Look at them punching in the armor. It shall be done. Quickly, we must fight. By the maker. Very well. Be careful. Level up. Let's go. As you say. More enemies. Okay. He's ahead. Hurry! Damn you! Shall Looking for trouble, are we? As you say. Very well. Oh boy. I shall do it. It shall be done. If we must fight, Why let us do it quickly. Easier? If it's a fight you want. No! Out of our What about you do something better? Stay out. She's a rogue? Interesting. Maybe she's not who she seems to be. Uh oh. That was close. We'll need another way into the phylactery chamber. Let's explore the repository. Well, well. Wow, that old wall's about to come down any moment. I think the phylactery chamber is on the other side of the wall behind this bookcase. The wall looks weak in spots here. We should be able to find something that can knock some of the bricks loose. All right, you want to move the bookcase aside? I can't do it on my own. You have to help me. If we work together, we can shift it. Come on. Fine. Now we just need to find a way to get through this wall. Use this with the rod. I'm sure it'll work. Hurry, the clock's ticking. Damn! What about you, statue? There's something odd about that statue. Why would this be here? How should I know? It's magical. This is a room of magical object. Greetings. Make us breath! Did it just say something? I am the essence and spirit of Eleni Zenovia. Once consort and advisor to Archon Valerius. Prophecy my crime. Cursed to stone for foretelling the fall of my lord's house. Archon Valerius? I'm not sure. The Archons were the lords of the Imperium. Forever shall you stand on the threshold of my proud fortress, he said. And tell your lies to all who pass. But my lord found death at the hands of his enemies, and his once proud fortress crumbled to dust, as I foretold. 
A Deventer statue. Don't listen to it. The Deventer lords dabbled in many forbidden arts. This is a wicked thing. It must be very old. It must have been here for years. Look at the dust. I feel a little sorry for it. Uh, her. Weep not for me, child. Stone they made me, and stone I am. Eternal and unfeeling. And I shall endure till the Maker returns to light their fires again. Do you need help? No help can be given me, for this is my doom and my destiny. Ambiguous rubbish, it could mean anything. I can do it too. The sun grows dark, but lo, here comes the dawn. Stop talking to it, please, both of you. We can't do much with it anyway. Come on, Jowen, let's go. Unfortunately. This is the phylactery chamber. It worked. We must find Jowen's phylactery, quickly. Let's look around then. It shouldn't be hard to find. There aren't many phylacteries here. Here we go. There is no glory in bloodshed. Let's try to make this quick. Damn you. I need uh -oh. healing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Okay. It shall be done. I am constantly looking at my HPs and As my mana pool. That's a lot of blood. That's my phylactery. You found it. I can't believe this tiny vial stands between me and freedom. So fragile. So easy just to be rid of it. To end its hold over me. And I am free. Well, you're still inside the tower. I expected a larger room and many more phylacteries. Only apprentice phylacteries are stored in the circle tower. Did she wait like this? this? tiny room could not hold the phylacteries of every mage who has passed through the tower doors. Come on, you two, we're done here and we should leave. Then let us move on. I do not want to stay here a moment longer. I am so sorry. They would have found out anyway. We did it! I can't believe it! Thank you. We could never have... So what you said was true, Irving. I knew this would end badly. Gregor. An initiate conspiring with a blood mage. I'm disappointed, Lily. She seems shocked, but fully in control of her own mind. Not a thrall of the blood mage, then. You are right, Irving. The initiate has betrayed us. Chantry will not let this go unpunished. And this one. Newly a mage and already flouting the rules of the circle. It's not his fault. This was my idea. He is here under my orders, Gregor. I take full responsibility for his actions. Wait, you... You led us into a trap? Ah... <sighs> Your actions were misguided, uh, Joel. Don't you dare speak to me! Enough! As Knight Commander of the Templars here assembled, I sentence this blood mage to death. And this initiate has scorned the Chantry and her vows. Take her to Aenar. The... the mage's prison? No. Please, no. 
Not there. No, I won't let you touch her. By the maker of magic. How could you? You said you never... I, admit, I, I dabbled. I thought it would make me a better mage. Blood magic is evil, German. It corrupts people, changes them. I'm going to give it up. All magic. I just want to be with you, Lily. Please come with me. I trusted you. I was ready to sacrifice everything for you. I don't know who you are, Blood Mage. Stay away from me. Are you all right? Where's Gregor? What a bad end. Blood magic. It's overcome so many. I never thought him capable of such power. I can't believe he just did that. None of us expected this. Are you all right, Gregor? As good as can be expected given the circumstances. If you had let me act sooner, this would not have happened. Now we have a blood mage on the loose and no way to track him down. Yes, Joan destroyed his phylactery. Where is the girl? I... I am here, sir. You helped a blood mage. Look at all he's hurt. Lily didn't know Joan was a blood mage. Save your breath. I can speak for myself. Sorry. Right, Commander. I... I was wrong. I was accomplice to a... a blood mage. I will accept whatever punishment you see fit. Even... even Aenar. Get her out of my sight. And you. You were in a repository full of magics that are locked away for a reason. Did you take I was ordered to be there. Repository? I mean... I am good. I think I am good. But not that, that good. Very well. I believe you. But your antics have made a mockery of this circle. What are we to do with you? Nothing. I was just doing as I was told. As I said, he was working under my orders. And this improves the situation. The phylactery chamber is forbidden to all save you and me. I had my reasons. You're not all knowing, Irving. You don't know how much influence the blood mage might have had. How are we to deal with this? Knight Commander, if I may, I'm not only looking for mages to join the King's army, I'm also recruiting for the Grey Wardens. Irving spoke highly of this mage, and I would like him to join the Warden ranks. What? You've promised him a new Grey Warden? He has served the Circle well. He would make an excellent Grey Warden. We look for dedication in our recruits. Fighting the Darkspawn requires such dedication, often at the expense of all else. I object. You say he operated under your instructions, Irving. But I do not trust him. I must investigate this issue, and I will not release this mage to the Grey Warden. I have always hoped to prove myself as a mage. Technically, I don't really want to join the Grey Wardens. It feels like a punishment. Even though I did nothing wrong. Gregor, mages are needed. This mage is needed. Worse things plague this world than blood mages. You know that. I take this young mage under my wing and bear all responsibility for his actions. This mage does not deserve a place in the Order. Why? Do we not reward service? This mage has served the circle well. Also, you're a bit too close, Duncan. Opportunity few even dream of. Do not squander it. Am I to leave the circle forever? The circle never forgets its apprentices. But the Grey Wardens shall be your family now. Well... <sighs> I guess there isn't much left for me here. You will carve out your own place in this world. Come, your new life awaits. Life. 
We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho there, Duncan. King Kaelan. I am shining. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, your majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, your majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho there, Fred. Might I know your name? I am Saret, your majesty. Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. I understand you hail from a circle of Magi. I trust you have some spells to help us in the coming battle. I will do my best, of course. Excellent. We have too few mages here. Another is always welcome. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. You are too kind, Your Majesty. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. It sounds like the blight is almost over. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Yet. Disappointed, your majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Yet you don't sound very reassured. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now they look to outnumber us. I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feelings. Do you think there is any danger? Absolutely. We sent a call to the Grey Wardens of Orlais and hope they will reach us before the Arch Demon does. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. What do you need me to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. All right. Harold. And this is where we end this episode. I hope you enjoyed and I bid you farewell. See you next time.